Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be doing a general timeless reading. General with a little bit of a stalker um, focus. Those of you who know, you know. Those of you who don't, um, I tend to do this reading so often uh, called stalker readings and what they do is basically give you a glimpse of who is thinking a lot about you. Not necessarily as an actual stalker, okay? Definitely not as an actual stalker, most likely just someone who's paying a lot of attention to you, someone who's crushing on you, someone who's hating on you, I don't know. Um, so that's what we're going to focus on today. And of course, we're going to do a spread, um, general spread before, so that we can see if there's any additional messages that spirit may want you to know. I hope you're doing good. I hope everything is unfolding beautifully in your life, Pisces. Today, I want to take my time and I want to use different decks. So I'm going to be using uh, these three. For those of you who are new, welcome. Just letting you know there's rules here in the channel. If you don't like that, I'm sorry. They seem pretty fair to me. Something resonates with you, like the video. Nothing resonates with you, don't like the video. Three things resonate with you, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, comment or leave a little emoji in the comment section. And if the whole reading resonates with you, or you know, you tend to resonate a lot with these readings in general, consider becoming a member of the channel, 99 cents per month. All right. Spirit, angels, beings of love and light, please bring in the most relevant and important, accurate messages, predictions, and advice for Pisces at this time. of the week, you guys, it personalized readings. So if you would like to book your personalized reading, you can do so through the link in the description box below. I see here that there are brand new beginnings happening in the area of health. Some of you have recently started maybe getting ready for pregnancy. Maybe some of you are wanting to manifest this in your life, wanting to expand your family. The number four is definitely relevant for some of you. We have number four in all elements. Four of cups, four of wands, four of swords, and four of pentacles. So four is the number of stability, and it's a number of building, right? on that stability. I see you, Pisces, creating something solid, not going for something that comes in one day and leaves the other. This is you really taking care of all of the angles, all of the possibilities, all of, uh, all of the sides of something. I see you creating something that is really going to last. Some of you are being a little bit destabilized by the fact that you are aiming for a pregnancy and it's not happening just yet. And Spirit is here to remind you that this happens exactly as it needs to. Okay, this happens in divine timing. There is a whole lot more at play and you can only do as much as you can do, right? So do your best, focus, align yourself with the right energies, right? And ask and pray at the same time leave it to god leave it to the divine because there is divine timing at play again now some of you here you may be having issues or conflicts perhaps with a libra maybe others of you maybe you're feeling like something new is being born 
right? It could be a project, it could be an idea, and you may not yet have the space for it in your life. Let's say that you have a new passion, but you have a busy schedule, and you can't really go into that passion as much. Some of you are really wanting to travel. What Spirit wants you to know is that there's a lot of magic going on inside of you, even if the environment seems a little gray. Now, for some of you, this is definitely um, a pregnancy. So there's a lot of magic inside of you, right? There's a lot of uh, like a process, divine process of creation happening. But for the majority of you, it's not about that. For the majority of you, it's actually kind of like chakra work, like your energies being, I don't know, shifted, moved, transformed, changed, rearranged <laughs> in order to kind of give you like an overhaul from the inside out. So for some of you, this could look like um, you're starting to eat differently. You're wanting to eat differently. You're starting to um, take different um, habits very seriously. And it seems to be like coloring your insides. So this could be nutrition. This could be like supplements. This could be energetic. But I honestly feel like it has more to do with like the physical body and it changing, beautifying from the inside out. Four, 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 four. Angel number. Your spirit guides are with you. They support you. They love you. Ask for their help with anything and everything that you may need. And even if you don't necessarily need something, but you want something, ask them for help as well. There is a need to be a little bit more mindful about your resources and how you manage them. And by resources, I mean money, I mean time, I mean energy, I mean um, love, you know, there is a bit of a need to be more aware on where there's like energy leaks. Right now you may not be feeling the most colorful, you may not be feeling your absolute best Pisces, but things are definitely getting better. There's an emphasis on like doors, keys, locks, Entryways, new beginnings, stars, all of these could be relevant for you. It may sound like absolute nonsense to some of you, but there's some of you out there who will hear these and be like, oh my god, doors, yes, I've been focusing on doors recently, or I've been focusing on collecting old keys or keychains or whatever, right? And that's just a confirmation that there is something here for you at some point of this reading. Some of you have been in the, in the search for something to celebrate. And it's interesting because Spirit is saying you don't really need much to celebrate. You know, you don't need to make this big thing happen. You don't need to manifest this crazy accomplishment in order to celebrate. Have a celebration right now, right here. You know? Get together with your loved ones. Be happy for what you have already. You don't need a big reason to celebrate Pisces. So if that kind of joy is something that you're craving, that kind of joy is something that you really want at this time, you need a reason to celebrate. You have plenty already. There's so many beautiful energies here, but I keep being drawn here to these two grayish cards. Seven of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Your mind space is not as colorful as the rest of your life, which is fine. But the mind is very important. Okay, the mind, 
the swords, the thoughts, the words, the communication that happens within us. It is not the end of end all be all, you know, intuition, I think that is way more important. However, having a less than ideal frame of mind, perspective, lens, approach, even like less than ideal mental health, like hygiene, can really tackle your energy levels and bring them down big time. Because at the end of the day, energy is very influenced by thought. It usually starts with a thought and it ripples in the form of energy, right? It triggers, thought triggers emotions and these emotions ripple out energetically, attracting back to you what you're feeling, right? So I feel like some of you need to take care of your perspective on things. But others of you need to take care of like your physical brain, your mind, being hydrated, sleeping well. I'm hearing D3. By the way, I am not a doctor or nutritionist or anything like that. So please take that with a grain of salt. But if let's say that a professional has recommended you take D3 supplements or B12 supplements or whatever, that is just a confirmation for you. There seems to be something, call it dopamine, call it serotonin, whatever. Um, serotonin? That's a thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, you know, you could be getting more of, I guess. Some of you through art, creativity, travel, having fun, music, meditation, um, taking care of your basic needs. But yeah, there's, there's a little bit of a gray tone to your mind. And this could have something to do with a fire sign. Some of you could be recovering from some kind of low blow from a fire sign. Something may have happened with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, in which they took maybe an attitude that was very petty or offensive to you. And I feel like you're recovering from that. And that may have kind of like impacted you a little bit, left your mind feeling a little gray. Maybe you're thinking about something that feels like a gray area. Whatever the case is, Spirit is saying, allow your mindset and your the space in your mind to be colored from the inside out. Some of you need to sleep. Others of you need art. Others of you need to dance. You have been in a defensive energy for far too long and it's not required of you anymore. All right, so that is the initial spread. Some of you may have resonated with you, others may have not, that's fine. If one little thing resonated with you, like. If nothing resonated with you, you don't have to like. Actually, I would rather you don't like if nothing resonated with you because that way I know you know, kind of like the percentage of the community that is resonating with each part of the reading or each video, let's say. So now we're moving on to the stalkers. The stalkers part of the reading. Let's see who is thinking a little bit too much about you, Pisces. Who's hating on you? Who's envying you? Who is in love with you? Who's obsessed with you, Pisces? Let's see. <clears throat> How about we get five energies this time around? Spirit, please bring in the main five energies or people who are really seriously having a lot of focus on Pisces and why. Tell us why. Please bring in the most 
accurate descriptions in a way that Pisces can immediately identify who we're talking about. If possible, of course. All right, so the first energy We got the Knight of Swords. So this could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius person. This person seems to be having a rather hard time in their life. Could definitely be a Gemini. This person could be a um, ex-partner or ex-lover. Ooh, they are going through it, Pisces. They are having a really, really hard time they may feel like their lives are like up in flames, okay? They have the tower, and this is a rather dramatic illustration of the tower if you're watching the video here on YouTube. Um, you can see here that it's uh, quite intense. This person, this is definitely someone from your past. I'm getting very strong X vibes. I feel like this person maybe recently has given themselves like the opportunity to move on from you romantically. In some cases, I feel like the relationship you had with them happened ages ago. But only now, they are really opening themselves up to connecting emotionally with another person. And I get a feeling that it's not going well, Pisces. Okay, what I see here is they're Connecting with different potential partners, people that are around them. And they're realizing now what they actually had with you and how valuable that was. This person is trying to make choices. They seem very wounded by what happened with you. Not only because they lost you and they acknowledge that you know, they, that you were in a way more valuable than they realized at the time. Not only that, but they also developed like trust issues and a lot of insecurities. More than trust issues, I feel like this person developed a lot of insecurities. So maybe you were not satisfied with certain aspects of this person's life or their character, their tendencies, their habits. And I feel like that really stuck with them. In some cases, I feel like they were not particularly interested in changing when they were with you. But like all of the things that bothered you really stuck. For example, someone here, they smoke, I guess. <laughs> and it may have bothered you at the time. They never really thought of quitting or changing. But now it's like they're very self-conscious around like their personal scent, for example. And that makes them kind of like retreat a little, not want to be, I don't know, like in close proximity to others. It's super random. This is so random. This person is having a bit of an existential crisis around love. So they may be in an age in which they're like, am I going to end up alone? Like, did I mess up my last chance for a potential good relationship? And it happened to be with Pisces. Wow, this person may have recently experienced literally a fire in their town, their neighborhood, even possibly their property. They may be going, they're going through it, Pisces. They are having a hard time. They're thinking of you as a highlight, a moment in which things were nicer, better in their life. In some cases, I feel like they're wondering and contemplating the possibility of asking you for help. Maybe financially, if they went through some kind of like difficulty or like, like a fire or something. That's a lot of information, Pisces. So that's the first person showing up here. Can you identify them? 
Do you know who this is? Does it sound familiar? Does it make sense at all? Please let me know in the comment section. You guys know that I love the tea, especially in this kind of reading. Now, universe, please bring in the second energy or person that is thinking a lot about Pisces and why. Alright, so stubborn is the first word coming up here very strongly. Okay, so this could be a person who has both water and fire? No, water and earth in their chart. So this could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Or this could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is one of the most stubborn people you've ever met. <laughs> Literally. Um, this person is so fucking stubborn. It may be the reason why their life is not the way they want it to be, or maybe the connection that they have with you is not the way they wanted it to be. This person is having kind of like a renaissance in their finances, in their work. Things may be going very well for them financially. And there is this sense of like sadness that they can't share the news with you, or that they don't get to enjoy um, their success with you somehow. So maybe this is someone that you may have distanced yourself from. Maybe life has taken you in different directions, different countries. And it's like they seem kind of sad that you don't get to see their transformation or their success. This is someone who's proud of how life is going for them. And they would like for you to be proud of them as well. But maybe they don't share things on social media, you're not talking right now, so there's really no way for you to, I don't know, find out that they're doing good. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or a combination of both, right? This person is very proud of themselves, and honestly, it seems like they have a lot of reasons to be proud of themselves. Like, this is not empty ego, this is not um, kind of like a overblown sense of self. This is actually someone who has gone through difficulty, not that much, but they have really kind of like had the opportunity to become better. And they have taken that opportunity, they have put in the work, and they're better. And life is showing them, it's like bringing back to them, reflecting back to them, how the changes they have made are making a huge difference. This person is really happy. They have a lot of issues around their heart. In some cases, you know, for some of you this could be literally, for others of you this could be um, more around emotional aspects, right? This is someone who was terrified of commitment romantically, <laughs> and they overcame a big blockage there, and they kind of want to share that with you, but it may be inappropriate, this could be someone who's married at this point, this could be someone who's um, in a romantic relationship and reaching to you would be a little odd for their partner. I don't know exactly. But they're very proud of themselves and I think they should be. And they would just like you to be able to celebrate with them how far they have come. 
I don't think that's gonna happen necessarily. But if you know who we're talking about, you can be happy for them, you know. Send them all the good vibes. All good. All love, Pisces. Beautiful reading. Beautiful, beautiful energy here for this second energy. Now let's see who the third energy is and why are they thinking and focusing a lot on you, Pisces? Let's find out. Okay, so this is intense. I can already feel the energy. Before even like identifying the cards per se, like the energy coming off of the, these is very strong. Okay, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Dark Magician, Witch. Okay, so this is very specific. It may not resonate, okay, with the majority of you. This is for like one or two people out there. A Libra, Gemini, Aquarius person, impulsive, rash, someone whose temper is like all over the place. There is black magic involved here to make you single, to have you be single permanently. Some of you are not single, some of you are very happily married, some of you are very happily in a relationship. And this makes them feel so disempowered and angry. So this is someone who really put in some time and energy for some kind of like curse or spell or something for you to be blocked. This could be someone who's used to getting their way, okay? This is someone who's like, oh, I want this person, I'm gonna get this spell, and I'm gonna get the person, and they do, okay? And they may operate through life a lot like that. So <laughs> it's like they, they, they thought you were gonna be the same, but you're divinely protected, Pisces. And that is really shaking up their self-esteem. So it's like they think of themselves as this like powerful magician, everything they want they can get, you know. Um, they are the master of the universe. But then there comes Pisces and none of the spells, none of the tools, none of the hacks, none of their strategies work on you. And they're like, oh, maybe I'm not that powerful, maybe I'm not whatever, you know. It really has shaken up their confidence. It bothers them deeply. Deeply. This could be someone who uh, has a Capricorn in their life or a Virgo in their life. This could be someone who's maybe an air sign with rising in Capricorn or moon in Virgo. I don't know, some combination of those elements there. It makes them so angry, Pisces. And I feel like you're not really doing anything to make this happen. I feel like you're just going about your business, being happy, and you know, I feel like the universe is protecting you fiercely. Maybe you're not even aware of this at all. Like you may be completely oblivious, living your sweet, nice, beautiful life, but you're so beyond protected. And it makes them feel not only very confused and kind of puzzled, but also very insecure. <laughs> I kind of like this. 
It's like you're disarming a powerful dark mag magician without doing absolutely anything. <laughs> and they're being disarmed. In some cases, I feel like they're really spiraling into like a crisis. Uh, like about their power, who they are, who they think they are. It's really shaking their confidence. And you're just being there, being happy. Not doing much. Not thinking of them at all. In some cases, I feel like this is someone who has been hired by another person to make this happen for you. Someone may have paid money to have this magician fuck up your love life. And they may be very embarrassed that what usually works didn't work on you. And there could be this other person that they're um, having to explain why it didn't work on you. And it's, it's awkward. It's really weird. But that's because you're connected to spirit. Whether you are actively practicing anything or not, you're being fiercely protected by Zeus. All right, so this is going to be the end of part one of the reading. I'm going to be doing two other energies in the next video. So I need to cut it off right now. So I'll be back for part two. I hope you are all doing really, really well. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Remember, if any bit of this resonated or you have an idea of any of these people who they may be, um, please comment below. I love to hear about the drama <laughs> and I love to hear the tea in these particular kinds of readings. So comment below, like, subscribe accordingly, and I'll see you in part two. Also, remember that if you would like a personalized reading, you can go ahead and book yours today. These are one question readings in which you can um, basically ask for guidance in a particular area. They could also be a general if you don't have anything particular to ask. They're, they go for around 15 to 20 minutes. They get to you in the form of a pre-recorded video just like this one, but it's only made for you, of course. Answering your question, you get to see the cards, the spreads, everything. And they are at this time only 55 US dollars with 55 US cents. <laughs> and um, you can book yours today if you would like. I would love to connect with you and talk to you and find out more about what it is that you want clarity on. All right, Pisces. So, having that said, I'll see you in part two. I love you. Bye.